Let's begin with an example. Say we are asked which of these words cannot be made from miscellaneous, and the words we are given are canoes, calmness, salesman, and mansion. These questions are asking us to pick one word from a list of possible answers that cannot be made solely from the letters of another word. With questions like these, you should start by looking at the answer options given and work through them one at a time, eliminating any wrong answers. Always start with the first answer and work your way down through each answer one at a time. Don't leap into the middle and start with, for example, salesman, and then work to the other answers, as you might confuse yourself as to which ones you've checked off. So in this example, we would begin with canoes. You start with the first letter and tick off each letter that appears in the word miscellaneous. So you would look for the C and notice that it appears in miscellaneous. To begin with, you might actually find it helpful to tick off the letters one by one. If you do put lines through in this way, make sure that you do this through the answer options rather than the word in the question, as you'll end up with too many lines through the question word if you do this for all the options. After ticking off the C, work your way through A, N, O, E and S, and we see that all these letters appear in miscellaneous. Therefore, this answer can be discounted. Next, we move on to calmness. Now, whenever you see a word that has two of the same letter in it, alarm bells should ring. Examiners often try to trick you by using double letters in the answer that only appear once in the question. In this case, calmness has two S's. So we need to make sure that S appears twice in the question. So we work through as normal. As you practice these, you will find it's quicker to check off groups of letters at the same time. So rather than just starting with the C, you might take the C, A and L together and look at miscellaneous to see whether they appear. This will save time from constantly glancing up and down between two words. Having ticked off the C, A and L, we then move on to the M, N and E and see that all of these appear in miscellaneous. And then taking extra care with the double letter at the end, we notice that S does indeed appear twice in the question word. So we can check off this answer as well and eliminate it. Next, we have salesman. Notice straight away that this word has two S's and two E's. Now we know from the previous answer that the two S's are in the clear, so they can immediately be ticked off. We then work through the A, L, E, M, and when we reach the second E, take care to check that E features a second time in the question word. It does, so we move on to the M and can see that all the letters appear the required numbers of times. So this answer can be discarded as well. Moving on to our last possible answer, mansion. Again, we can see that it contains two N's, so we need to take extra care. We tick off the M, A, N, S, I, O, and finally we come to the second N. Carefully looking at miscellaneous, we spot that the N only appears once, and therefore the word mansion cannot be made from the letters in the word miscellaneous. Mansion is therefore the correct answer. So there are three key things to remember when doing these kinds of questions. Firstly, always work through the answers one at a time from first to last. This will ensure that you go through all of them without missing out the answer which might be correct. Secondly, try to tick off groups of letters at the same time rather than going through them individually. Thirdly, beware of double letters. Examiners love putting these in to try and trip you up, so keep an eye out for them. It's important to practice these ones as much as possible. Practice will ensure that you get faster and faster and you'll be able to glance more quickly across more letters in the answer rather than ticking them off one by one. Although actually ticking them off with a pen or pencil will ensure you get the answer right, it can also slow you down. So once you gain confidence, work on speeding up by just ticking off each letter in your head rather than actually using the pen or pencil.